big story tonight. I do believe it will end up being one of the most significant uh, deadly floods that we have had in Kentucky in at least a very long time. Torrential rain in eastern Kentucky causing devastating flooding there and right now. We know already three people are dead, but Governor Bashir believes that number will likely reach double digits. Imagine that the devastation, the result of days of storms dumping several inches of rain. At least six eastern Kentucky counties have declared local states of emergency. We're looking at them right now on your map. You can see all of them. The Kentucky National Guard has been mobilized now to help the people in those six counties. Boy, and when you see the aftermath, you can understand why entire communities are underwater tonight. Floodwaters taking over roads, homes, and schools. In some cases, it's even leading to landslides. WLWT News 5 meteorologist Adam Berniston joining us live right now. He's in Perry County with a firsthand look at the damage. Just unbelievable there, Adam. Yeah, Mike and Cherie, it really is unbelievable and pictures, videos just doesn't do justice. The devastation here. I'm next to Squabble Creek here in Buckhorn, Northern Perry County. Normally, this creek would only be running about calf high. Instead, it is several feet high, and this is what caused so many issues to Buckhorn schools. This is the county school here, K through 12, and you can see just how the power of that water ripped up the pavement and just devastation here to the school. Now, while we have devastation here in Buckhorn, there is also a lot of issues even on the way in. Check out this video of our drive in. You can see that uh, we encountered several mudslides, landslides on the way in, and even a few downed trees that we had to just kind of squeeze under just because uh, they were covering most of the road besides uh, a lane or maybe even half a lane at that. Now, once we got into Buckhorn in this other video, we were able to get a sky eye view with our drone of widespread damage and destruction. Mud lines many areas around the church and at the high school. Complete chunks of pavement, as I mentioned, have been ripped up and debris from both inside the school and even across the area upstream of this creek have uh, been lying about on the ground scattered around. Uh, while out here, I was able to meet the principal of Buckhorn School, who, was, who has worked here within the school for 22 years, lived here all of his life, and he says he's never seen anything this bad. It's uh, really heartbreaking. You see the stuff on social media, the pictures, but till you're here firsthand uh, in the driveway looking at it, 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 it tears at you. It, it's really heartbreaking. Now, as if things couldn't get any worse for this community, there is more rain coming this way for tonight and in through Friday, and that could lead to more flash flooding issues across much of southeast Kentucky. Live in Buckhorn, Kentucky, I'm meteorologist Adam Bernison, WLWT News 5. It is so heartbreaking to see all of that. Adam, thank you so much. Ohio Task Force One, by the way, is stepping up now to help. The team has been activated and will deploy to eastern and southeastern Kentucky tonight. They're sending a 16 person water rescue team. The group will leave from Vandalia between 6 and 8 o'clock this evening. Indiana's Task Force One has also been activated.